Oh, hello there. I have purchased a Sony uh, car stereo that has Android Auto. It's got the floating face. So basically you install this in the car and then the screen goes in front of it. And purchased this unit for parts or repair because the screen that is supposed to fit in front of it right there um, has been pulled out of the socket and unfortunately the socket has also been damaged. It's um, the connector that the flat flex wire goes into has been pulled off the board. So um, I have done some digging and I found a connector that seems to be close enough that'll work. Uh, it is a 60 pin connector with a 0.5 millimeter pitch and this connector will actually line up correctly. Uh, it actually doesn't have the other two pins, but those pins don't actually go anywhere. Those are uh, just hold down places. Uh, it does have these on the end here to hold the connector itself, but those other two that are missing don't actually have an electrical connection. So I'm gonna attempt to get this connector on this board and see if I can get this unit working and um, see how that goes but first let's take a look at our sponsor PCB way they specialize in all types of circuit boards including CNC machining 3d printing sheet metal fabrication injection molding even LED PCBs which are designed for the high heat demands of LEDs they also specialize in flexible PCBs which are found in all types of electronics including laptops TVs and game systems you can even get instant quotes for any type of PCB prototype. So check out PCB Way for all your printed circuit board needs. The link will be in the description. All right, this is the first time using this uh, microscope, which I can see the video is a little bit grainy. I uh, apologize for that. But uh, this is also the first time I'm using this solder paste. And unfortunately, I found out after I used the solder paste and made this part of the video, I discovered that the solder paste was expired. Uh, there was a date on there. Apparently, I didn't see it when I had ordered it. And uh, it had passed the date by probably about a year or so or more. Uh, so that was probably why I had some trouble with this. Um, as you can see, I'm laying the paste down and heating it up. And normally, uh, solder paste would, you know, melt down a lot faster than it is here in this this video. Um, so I had um, some more issues with it than I would have normally. Uh, it looked like it started to lay down pretty good here, um, but I believe because it was uh, old, it um, clumped up a little bit more than it should have and which caused some solder bridging and so I have to go back and uh, basically solder wick off some of the, uh, the excess solder it really wasn't too much of a problem it just uh, extended the time here I am uh, putting a little bit of extra flux on here uh, before I use the uh, wick to get rid of some of the excess and um, like I said, it, it really didn't cause too much of an issue. It just added some time to the uh, the video here and an actual process of getting this connector on. Um, as you can see, the uh, solder wick is, is taken off a good amount here. And the um, the paste flux that I used was, was helping in that process to clean that up. I just went back over and touched up some of the leads just to make sure that they were soldered and uh, make sure there was no solder bridges left over by that uh, that excess uh, solder paste. I'm just trying to flip the board around to get a little bit of a better angle. It was kind of hard to see in the uh, screen when I was looking at the microscope to uh, just make sure that there was no bridging going on here. I'm 
there was that that one little spot I was concerned with but actually when I got it in a different light um, it actually was not bridged um, I just kind of looked like that because there was a bubble of uh, flux in there you know, just inspecting to make sure there was no more bridging or anything uh, this was basically after I had uh, cleaned off all the flux and it actually turned out pretty nice um, despite the fact that I was using some paste that was expired um, so here we are uh, looking at the back of the radio again and the board uh, sorry for the board being out of focus there um, despite the uh, issues with the paste being uh, out of date and a little bit of bridging there um, it did actually turn out pretty well um, can't really see too good there with the uh, sorry about the focus but um, I was actually happy with the way it turned out the uh, the connector is not exactly the right connector for that application but it was close enough um, I'm gonna show here in a, a second when I uh, switch over to actually get the board installed all right well looks like the um, connector was a little bit different than the original one which I did expect um, so I had to reroute the cable a little bit differently I believe that it went on the inside of this and up through but since it's a right angle connector I had to go behind here and then up behind the board and plug it in um, but doesn't really seem to be a problem so let me uh, go ahead and plug this thing in to the uh, radio here it just basically slides into the front here like that Let's see if I can get the whole thing in the camera view here try to keep on the wires from touching and we're going to go ahead and power it up and let's get this uh, protective cover off here oh look at that it's already working but uh, looks like everything's working uh, we got um, general settings here visual uh, go into wallpaper change that Yeah, looks like everything is working. Don't have an antenna on there, so we uh, can't play any music. But uh, wouldn't really want to do that anyway, because it get a copyright strike of some kind. But um, yeah, it looks like it's working okay. So that's a uh, that's a win-win. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoy what you see, uh, like and subscribe. Um, any questions about this, uh, feel free to ask. Or if anybody has any idea of what type of connector actually goes in these, I've never actually seen that uh, connector for that uh, flat uh, cable um, on these radios. I just know that um, you know that's a the type I got is fairly standard. Uh, they come in a lot of different types. Um, looks like that one may have been a little bit different. Um, there's other kinds like this one here, for instance, um, has a back lock type connector where the cable goes in the front and then you flip this down to lock the cable. Um, I don't know what type was actually on this radio. I never saw it, but it does look like it's working. So I don't think that's really an issue um, unless I have some other kind of problems with it down the road. But um, for now, I'll just leave it as is.